everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. I discontinued these a while back only because I wasn't buying anything new. I wasn't planning on buying anything new other than like Stephen King and authors that I stock, I guess is the best way. Uh, authors that I buy right out the gate as soon as they publish their books. Um, but recently I wanted some retail therapy so I ordered a bunch of stuff from independent bookstores from Amazon. I don't know where, what all came from what because I just unboxed everything and made a stack. So we're going to go through it. Um, some of these, well, I think two of these were gifts. Um, at, well, one of them was a gift, one was an ARC. So we're going to get into those first. The first one, um, my buddy Darren, who I am currently collaborating, collaborating with on a book, uh, sent me Eternal Autumn which is his, I believe, his debut comic book. I have not read it yet, but it... Uh, actually, by the time this goes up, I probably will have read it, but um, I haven't even opened it yet other than to read the letter that he sent me in the back. Um, but I'll be getting to this one soon, and as soon as I do, I'll review it, even though he said he was just sending it to me as a gift. Next up, we have a book that was sent to me for review, and it is Who's There by Dima Ryu? Dimas? I'm not sure. D-I-M-A-S... R-I-O, Demas Rio, I believe. He's an Indonesian author. Um, at least I believe it's a he. I'm pretty sure it's a he. Yeah, it's a he. Um, he contacted me. I don't normally take review requests. Um, I think I've only taken two, this one included, over the past year. Um, the, the other one was Michael Brett Collings. And when I say review requests, these are you know books that are sent to me uh, not by authors I know. I get loads of stuff from authors I know, but... Um, Demas, I hope I'm saying your name right, I apologize if I'm not, sent me this book for a review, but before he sent it to me, he sent me a, a terrifically well done uh, review request through my email. Now, I don't want to say this and have a bunch of email requests because I, I just ignore, I don't even respond to 99% of them. This one caught my eye because I have not read an author from Indonesia, um, and I wanted to check that box off of my around the world type of thing. Um, that I'm doing. It's not really a challenge. I'm just trying to branch out and learn other cultures by reading their fiction. Um, so yeah, who's who's there? I'll leave a link to this down there in the doobly-doo if you want to um, check this out also. But yeah, so that's the ARC. That's the last of the books that I got for free. All the rest of these I bought from either independent bookstores, uh, book, not book, a books, I almost said book depository, a books or Amazon. I don't shop too much on Amazon anymore, but I did go ahead and grab The Unsuitable by Molly Polig. P-O-H-L-I-G. I hope I pronounced that right. Maybe it's Pole. I don't know. Um, but this one, everybody's been talking about this one. Um, the I, don't, I, I haven't even read the synopsis, but it's been getting good reviews from people I trust, so I went ahead and picked this up new. Let's see here. Next one. This is one that I got from a an independent bookstore. Um, can't remember the name of it. If I can find it, again, I bought a lot of stuff from independent bookstores. Um, if I can find which one this one came from, I'll post links down there in the doobly-doo. I know I got one of these from Buckets of Blood. Uh, they're on Twitter. They're a bookstore. Um, very cool name. Um, I also got Who Goes There from them a while back. But yeah, this is the remaking from Clay McLeod uh, Chapman. Uh, I've been hearing, like, again, I've been hearing good things about this one, and I had a little extra money to spend, so I went ahead and grabbed this one, because I was going to do an independent bookstore order anyways, and I love the cover. Next up is one, uh, this one I actually found at Books A Million, uh, you will be able to tell down here from the discount one. Uh, I forgot uh, Maria, Maria Devana Headley had other books other than The Mere Wife, um, which is one of my one of my favorite books of all time. Maybe not in my top 20, but it's definitely up there. Um, so I went ahead and got her, I believe it's her first book. It may not be uh, Magonia. Magonia? I'm not sure. Uh, but the cover is absolutely gorgeous, and I need to take these stickers off, but I won't do it on camera. Anywho, so I got this one from Bam. Next up uh, is 
from Amazon. I got The Rue by Alan Baxter. There's a great uh, funny story behind this one. Keelan Patrick Burke um, made the cover for it as a joke, and then Alan Baxter said, hey, maybe I can do it. I believe it's after Alan shared um, a, a news article about a kangaroo that was harassing a small town or something like that. And so Alan wrote it based on that article and Keelan's cover art, which is absolutely fantastic. If you can't see it well here, um, definitely go check it out um, on Amazon. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get this, these. Uh, I think there's a whole series of them now where Keelan is uh, doing the covers for charity and the proceeds for the books are going to charity. Um, I think, I don't know, I'll check some more and if I can find out more information, I'll leave it down there in the doobly-doo. But this is uh, 122 pages, so yeah, it's definitely a novella. Alright, you're not going to stay up there, so we'll put you over there. Okay, next up is one that I had on uh, on audiobook forever. I tried listening to it, couldn't get into it. Um, I went and I looked at the look inside. Sorry, it's hot that I'm touching my face so much. It's it's hot out here. Um, but And I keep the air conditioning off while I'm recording, or else that hiss you hear in the background, which I'm trying to work on, uh, is ten times as loud. But I got uh, The Fisherman by John Langan. Langan, I believe. Word Horde is a terrific publisher. I like them a lot. Uh, they always have very unique books and very unique covers, and I like this one a lot. But uh, this one comes highly recommended in the horror community. The uh, story behind this one was uh, he tried to uh, submit it to literary uh, publishers. They said it was too genre. He tried to publish it with uh, genre, and they said it was too literary. Um, I've run into that problem myself, publishing certain things, so it's a little bit of solidarity. Uh, but he finally he finally got this published, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so, so highly recommended in the horror community. Next up, we're going to go pretty quick through uh, four, two four-book packs. I went ahead and finished my Keelan Patrick Burke collection with uh, the novellas. Milestone, uh, Currency of Souls, which is one of his best covers, I think. This cover is just fantastic. And then Master of the Moors, which is another great cover of his. These are the last ones that I needed um, for my collection, so I can start going through his stuff in order of publication. I'm not sure if I'll make a series out of it where I do one, you know, one a month or whatever. I don't, I don't know. You guys tell me what you'd like to see down there in the doobly-doo. But he's definitely the next author I want to go through, not really as a challenge, but just to look at all of their stuff and see how they've grown over their career. Next up is a pack of four books that I bought directly from the author, and that is uh, Danger Slater's... This, is, this one is Puppet Skin. <laughs> this one. I love the cover of this one. It feels like... Uh, I can't remember what publishing company did covers like that, but he digs a hole. I believe these are all of uh, Danger's works, I believe. Impossible James. And then I Will Rot With You, which I am currently reading and loving. It is hilarious. I'm reading his stuff in order of publication also. Um, but other than, other than that, those are all the Western <laughs> westernized books I bought. Uh, I don't know if the review of it will be up not uh, by the time this this goes live or not so I apologize if it's not already up but I've already re reviewed one of the books that I bought and that was Uzumaki it'll be either up before or after this one I'll probably ask you guys which one you wanted um, but I read Uzumaki I loved it spoilers I guess a spoiler I loved it not spoilers for the book um, loved the book and I went out and I went kinda crazy but before we talk about Junji Ito I want to show this one, because all the rest of these books are Junji Ito. This, I got the very first, not episode, the very first uh, in the series One Punch Man. I've heard good things about it. I know it's a TV, uh, not TV show, an anime. Uh, but I went ahead and got the manga, because I am now obsessed with manga, as you were about to see. But One Punch Man sounded like a lot of fun, and a lot of people recommended it, so I grabbed that one. I was also going to try Berserker, I think, a Berserk or Berserker. Uh, I also bought uh, Scarlet, which I don't have and I can't find. I hope I actually did buy it, but those, that's the story about sapphic vampires, which I'm all about. Um, this one was the only one um, that I, I'd heard of, though. I'd never heard of Scarlet, and I'd never heard of um, Ido either, before my buddy Gregor said, Hey, check this guy out. 
um, but I'll talk about that more in the review. So, um, because I went nuts on the, uh, the Edo stuff, the rest of this video is going to be Junji Edo. I got, uh, I hate that this is, it's already got black smudges on it. I hate white covers for that reason. Same reason I, I hate white cars and white linen. No longer human. Uh, this one, I love the way these things are built. These, oh, I just popped open the, what's that look like? <laughs> what's it look like she doing? <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I love the way these things are built. The uh, production quality is amazing, and they have to be for what's the, what they charge. This one alone was thirty-four ninety-nine, and I know graphic novels are expensive as it is, but that's one of the things that kept me away from reading manga almost exclusively was the cost of all this stuff. And I understand why it's expensive. I just can't afford it. Um, next up, we I got Shiver, which is a short story collection. And I got smashed. So, I got smashed. <laughs> Anyways, I got smashed and Shiver. These are both short story collections from what I understand. I could be wrong. I don't think I am, though. Um, actually, I could probably just look right on here. Uh, yeah, short stories and short stories. Yeah, they're, they're all short stories. I love Junji Ito's art, even if the stories are batshit crazy, even though that's a good thing in my book. But uh, I love, I love his artwork. Next, I got uh, Gio, Gio, Gaio. I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize, but I got Gaio. Uh, at least I think that's what it's called. And I got Tomi, Tumi. Not sure. This one is this one about vampires. I don't want too much. I don't want you to spoil anything for me. But I do want to know, am I, am, I, am I about to jump into almost 800 pages of vampire fiction? If I am, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Um, because I'm not a huge fan of vampires, but I do like visual uh, art with vampires. Like like artwork, uh, comics, um, and, uh, and movies. I do like the occasional vampire movie. I'm a big fan of 30 Days a Night. And of course, finally... Sorry, they're... They're backward. <laughs> backward from our westernized text, anyway. Um, Uzumaki. Is that upside down? It is upside down. <laughs> Uzumaki. Anyways, so, and that's, uh, so I got one, two, I got six Junji Itos, uh, one new manga, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Are any of these books on your radar? Anything uh, that you want to read? Anything you're interested in? Have you read anything in this stack of books that I have shown you? If you like them, let me know why you like them. If you didn't like them, let me know why you didn't like them. But please, I haven't read any of these other than Uzumaki. Please, no spoilers. No spoilers for Uzumaki either. Um, simply because I don't want people stumbling upon the comments. If you do have to post spoilers, please put spoiler alert and then uh, enter down, like, I think it's five lines. And then put your spoilers like that. I would appreciate it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, it has been hot as hell out here. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!